piece of the park for the story of the Lord that's often missed. Uh, I think there's nothing more poignant than anyone who's ever seen the, the old black and white film of uh, Culloden. Uh, when the Jacobite Highlanders finally made their desperate attempt to break the lines and then began to retreat, it had already been assigned that certain regiments had to stay to fight the rear guard, and of course it was the Royal Ecosse and the Irish Pickets. And the, every time I ever watch that old black and white film, I get shivers up the back of the neck, because you see the Highlanders passing through the lines, and the Irish guy goes, Christ, they're running. And he knew that he had to stand and wait for the whole front line of the British Army to try and hold them back. So we played great tribute, because if these guys hadn't stayed here to fight, uh, very few of the Highlanders would escape the battlefield. So we have to play real tribute to the Irish and the French regiments that stood their ground. They were lucky enough, oh, they were lucky enough of course because they were uniformed regiments, when they did surrender they were given certain respect and they were actually treated as prisoners of war and eventually of course sent back to France. Uh, not the fate of course that met so many poor Highlanders on this battlefield. I thought that maybe Ludovic, could Ludovic lay it? Yeah. Because Ludovic, Ludovic of Robertson Mackay is the only Franco Scot amongst us, I think, because he's oh, father is a Scot well, and his mother is of course Dick Old Mark. And it's his honor. birthday today. Oh, it's his birthday! Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry about taking this away no, from no, you. No, 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 no. The boy wins every day. <laughs> so we're going to have to do it. This is just a few lines. Hope you can bear with me. As you can see, Culloden's got a, quite a few memorial stones. The total Jacobite casualties during the battle has been estimated around. 1,500 to 2,000 killed or wounded. Cumberland's official list of prisoners includes 154 Jacobites and 222 French service prisoners. Across here is the Irish Stone, it was erected in 1963 by the Military Society of Ireland. These were Irish soldiers in French service that fought for the Prince. Their nickname was the Wild Geese. They did great service covering the Jacobite retreat. Their commander, Brigadier Stapleton, was mortally wounded. Because they were in the service of the French Crown, they could not therefore be held traitors to King George. As Michael said, Cumberland accorded them status as prisoners of war. Some of them were treated so badly, a lot of them didn't survive. The inscription on the stone may be freely translated as the breed of kings, sons of Milo, eagle warriors, eager warriors. And here we have the French stone. And as Michael said, the White Cockade Society, Charlie and Mike and Ross and Jimmy the Grangeman, 1994 erected it. I think it's got a feeling of belonging, and it reads as we can read it. This stone commemorates the French regiment, Scots Royal, who served under Lord John Drummond. They stood in the second line of the Prince's army and fought a brave rearguard action. So to that end, could we possibly your respects and have the usual minute silence. 